Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Student Showcase series, where I talk with some of our top apprentices about the success that they've seen and how they've seen it so that it can help you on your journey of learning VFX. Today, I am joined by Jasmine Vodacic. Sorry if I got that wrong, Jasmine. How are you doing? Hey, it's totally fine. Almost perfect. I'm doing pretty fine. Cool. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, so Jasmine joins me today from Germany. She's one of our EU students who has just done a fantastic job going through the content, learning and growing. So I'll just let her speak a little bit about that journey though. Jasmine, I'm curious for you to share with us, how did you even discover effects in the first place? Yeah, um, I was always curious when I played games, how those how can you be so immersed in games? And I used to play since I'm a young little child and I always wanted to do games and games, games, games. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> my first journey was um, that I wanted to learn how to do effects. And I was searching in YouTube, of course, for a few tutorials, but I barely did know anything about the topic. So I couldn't follow along the videos. And I was always curious about the effects in the games I play, how they were made, and uh, was searching for uh, breakdowns, actually, in YouTube. And fortunately, I found your breakdown of Tristana and the, the, the fireball thingy, and I tried to uh, redo it by myself and try to understand how those things work. And yeah, this. Uh, then, of course, I found uh, VFX of Print just because you were cross-referenced. and. Mm. Uh, now, every time I play Tristana in the game, I have to smile because this was the very start of my journey. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad that that was it. <laughs> like that something out there in the universe that we put out found you and then you found us. That's really cool. So you found VFX Apprentice and you got into it. I remember in the early days, you know, you were just on fire. You were just always creating stuff and making all kinds of cool things. What was your experience like in the community as you came in and got into our content? Oh yeah, it was it was like a breakthrough to be honest because I finally got content which I could follow along and there was so much to explore and to see and it was actually high quality stuff which yeah, I could not find that much in YouTube. But uh, yeah, I was pretty happy to have finally content and uh, I uh, did the courses and it was so funny to see how the effects evolved from concept to implementation and it was very interesting. And uh, after a few lessons, I uh, caught myself trying a lot by myself and uh, I'm not even sure if I finished all the courses, to be honest, but uh, I, I really just got hooked in the project and sidetracked and I had so many questions and the best thing about it was I could uh, ask the community about it because they also had so many questions and idea and we could share and it was the best part about it. Yeah, that's really cool. I Tell us a little bit about some of the effects that you are most proud of in that process because like you said, I noticed too that you very quickly stopped doing the normal lessons and you started creating your own things and just sort of using the lessons as like a foundation maybe and then you went off on your own. So what's an effect that you really love to work on and how did that happen? Like how much time did you spend? What were some challenges that you faced? I wanna hear every detail. Every detail. Well, I, uh, I made an effect. I, I called it the electro shield effect and I had so much fun working on it. And actually it started very harmless, let's say. Um, I just wanted to do a static effect and nothing that exciting. But then I uh, asked the community and they said, oh, there are those uh, metal symbols in the crystal. Why you don't animate them and make them come together? And I was like, yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. Let's do that. It and, started uh, harmless and then yeah. it very quickly got very dangerous, right? Yeah. <laughs> very difficult. And. Yeah, it, it, it started then, I started to, to animate them and then to put the electricity uh, static beams and connect those points together. And then it looked so awesome and amazing how the electric bits are like in between. And then I started to move them around and it was so much fun to see how, how what effect was uh, born just because of the feedback of a community member. And yeah, actually the the 
the greatest challenge was to find that punchy timing, the, the, mm. the punchy polish face at the end. And after a while, when you keep looking the effect and trying and trying and to find that timing, that sweet spot, I feel like you get a little bit tired and, and your mind is getting a little bit dizzy and you see the effect over and over again. Mm -hmm. And uh, you totally forget what you're doing, actually. And then it's like, hmm, okay, I need a break. And when this time comes, I just lay down, sleep, have a nap and refresh my mind. And after a night, I come back and just see with a fresh mind, what did I do and see all the things I didn't see before. And yeah, at the end, everything just came together. And yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with the result. And it was so satisfying to see how everything came together. You mentioned before that you were super passionate about games and playing games. And from you talking right now, it's very clear that you're also very passionate about creating these effects for games. Do you think those two are connected or have you always been passionate about creating? Because I know some people, they're passionate about one, but maybe not the other so much. What's that bridge to you? Has it always been there? Actually, I was the, the, the thing which pushes me to make games was the curiosity. I yeah. always, I saw like this little dragon, for example, one of my favorite games is Spyro. And I saw this little dragon running around and I was wondering how, how this, does this work? How, what? I didn't know code. I didn't know anything. It was so confusing. And then I started to, to, to wonder and to find out, to see 3D models and textures and VFX and rigs and animations and everything just make sense. And I knew, okay, I want to do that. And especially for VFX, because it was the most amazing part, I think. So, yeah. Right. It, I, it I agree. Kind of... I think it's the most amazing part. <laughs> Some people might disagree with me, but uh, with us, but I think that's that's fine. You know, they can go and do other things. Games need all kinds of artists, but for anyone yeah. who likes blowing stuff up and making the game mechanics come to life with really interesting particle systems, I think effects might be a good opportunity for them. So yes. speaking of opportunities, that's actually a great segue. So you now are, you've got a portfolio together. I think it's quite an impressive portfolio. You just barely got it ready like a few weeks ago, right? I think you and I were talking about that then. And now you're in the process of getting your first full-time VFX job app, you're in the application process. How's that going for you? Um, pretty exciting because I've never done uh, an art test, a VFX art test. And it was so, so nice to see and to read what kind of challenge lays before me and how can I prove my skills and put all my knowledge together and show something what I can do and hope it's good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about it for sure. Yeah, that's super exciting. I know they're excited to talk with you. I've been in communication with them about this job opportunity and probably by the time people are watching this video, you're going to have a job, right? That's like kind of how it goes. Think positive. You're going to get it for sure. So we're really looking forward to see all the cool stuff that you do. So tell us as, as we wrap up here, like the floor is yours. What advice do you have for anybody who wants to get a job in this industry and they want to improve in their skills as a VFX artist? What would you say to them? I would say, explore and try out as much as you can like find out what what kind of effect means the most fun to you and if you find this kind of effect or whatever it everything will start automatically you will you will start to experiment and the craziest and the coolest effect will just arise because out of fun because you like it i love that i love that find the fun and focus on it and you will be rewarded. Uh, totally, like there's so many different ways to approach effects, so many different styles, so many different tools. I think there's a different way to do it for everybody that depending on your individual personality, you can have a lot of fun. That's great. Thank well, thank you for being here today. It's so nice to talk to you and best of luck with your art test. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right, see ya. Bye-bye.